Hey everyone, a quick uh, club cart update. After I made that uh, last video, I was actually able to get it to run on its own and it actually does drive, even though it has a issue with the torque converter, which I did show in the previous video. So as far as I can tell, all this thing might need is a torque converter. What it's doing right now is at low RPMs, it uh, shakes. Uh, I don't know, it could also be the front engine mount. On these here, they have a frame an engine mount that connects right up into there and it's a rubber bushing up there so it could be that bushing's no good as well but this thing seems to have new brakes new back tires the front tires i believe could be also be new and it's definitely had something recently done with the leaf springs because the leaf springs seem to have brand new bolts on them so anyways uh, i was able to get it to run and drive uh by boosting it but uh when I boost it, the uh, fuel pump comes on. So there's still something definitely going on in this box right here. Because when the key comes on, we're not getting any power. So when you put your foot down on the gas pedal, like you traditionally would with a golf cart to get them to run, this will not run. So there's still definitely an issue with that. But if you boost it, you can get it to start. And to when I, I actually did drive it, and I boosted it in gear, and I just took off and this thing took off like a bat out of hell. So yes, I have driven it and it's actually not bad to drive. Uh, it's slow, but uh, one person was saying that you can upgrade these engines, put a bigger engine in here, you get more power. I'm not really looking for power. I'm mainly looking for performance and reliability out of this thing. And that's mainly what I'm looking at. So as it is right now, it will run, it will stop. It seems to be okay. It's getting a little hot, so there could be a mouse nest in that engine. My idea for the weekend is to pull the shrouds off the engine. Hopefully, I can get them off. So you can see the exhaust pipe is pretty close. I don't know if I want to start messing with uh, trying to get that exhaust off or not. I might spray it tonight with some PB Blaster. Just let it soak and uh, maybe make an attempt at taking the exhaust off. But um, to, with the exhaust off... I can for sure get the, the engine shroud off, but if I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to do some more investigating and see, make sure there is a mouse nest in there. I'm not going to take it off for no reason. I'd love to bring this down to the car wash, but really the only way to get it there is to drive it, and if there's a mouse nest in there, I don't really want to drive it. And I don't really want to pull it with my Craftsman truck or the diesel. So I'm going to use my pressure washer, and I'm going to wash everything out in here. I'm going to put the cover back on there. I'll leave the snorkel tube off, probably take the battery out. I'm probably even going to pressure wash that battery just to clean all the crap off of that. So that's where I'm at right now. It does run. It does drive. It has brakes. I just got to get the uh, electrical side of the issues figured out so it will run and drive on its own. And that's pretty much it. Also, this has a reverse buzzer. And last time I drove, last time I drove it, the reverse buzzer started working again. So, it's actually, it's everything's starting to come back to life on it. Uh, the, head, the tail lights still haven't came back to life as far as I know. And that's pretty much it. I really just need the electrical system to fully come back to life and have everything work correctly on here. So that's where I'm at on the club cart. Yeah, the diesel's out for a reason, uh, a couple reasons. I'm not going to mention in this video. So that's uh, pretty much it with this. I'll talk to them later. Please keep redneck like always and uh, please try and comment.